Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and today I have a new product share from Country Craft Creations. I'm so excited about this one and I'm going to need to get more as usual. <laughs> but luckily I'll be in Salt Lake City next week um, and I'll be able to hop into the store and get some more goodies because I can see that I don't have, yeah, I don't have all of it. But Uniquely Creative is now at Country Craft Creations. This is a brand from Australia, um, family owned. Uh, the couple is so amazing. They're the nicest peeps. Um, we, had, we had a lot of fun with them at uh, Craft Utopia in Las Vegas. Um, and their products are just stunning. And I just can't wait to show you guys. And just know like the possibilities are endless with this line um and i did have again if you join scrapbookers of country craft creations on facebook you would see that i would i post when these things are available when they're coming in um that way you have a heads up um as well as i told tanya she had to post her beautiful project that she made at craft utopia um with some of the items in here it is like i said it's stunning it's just inspirational i just i can't i can't i can't okay so we're gonna get into it right now <laughs> and there's a lot to get into um i'm gonna show you guys just some things that you know um just that you know i i think about when i'm looking at products to give you some more ideas i can't wait to play with this it'll be a minute as with everything else because i will be leaving for salt lake city here in a couple days um but i'm just so happy to have this to show you guys so pardon the glare um maybe i should oh well, yeah we're gonna take this out because we need to we need to see what this little baby does so this is their accordion album it says um includes eight pages for store traveling and memory keeping it is in a craft like paper bag color and she does i'm trying to think i think she I can't remember all the elements, but it will be linked below. This, okay, if you don't know already, let me try to move some of this out of the way. Um, if you don't know already, I love pre-made albums. Can we make our own? Yes, yes, we can. But sometimes time doesn't allow it. You just need a quick project. It's great to have these staples just in your craft room. I have a drawer that I keep all my ready-made um uh or pre-made you know albums so if i'm in a time crunch or whatever i could just go to that drawer pull them out or you could take this just on like a crop a crafting weekend they're just so fun but i just love these so i just i, I can't so it has a little tight closure on here already i'll never be able to get that cute little um bow back but it loops through like this and it's just your basic accordion album. Quality is great. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I count the whole thing. So ten plus another like eight on the other side to play with. Um, I just, these are just fun. I love accordion albums. I just think they're a great um project to gift somebody um but yeah i love that it has like this already attached so cute and if you wanted to pull this through you can undo it if you wanted to do like a seam binding on there a different trim you still have that option but look how nicely made this is and so i think i mean don't yeah don't quote me but i'm pretty sure that she I know she owned a craft store before and I believe she was like a crafter, not like she was a crafter before. So she knows all sides of it. So she knows like what we like, what we look for um, when making projects and her stuff is so gorgeous. Like when she does her little layouts, the cards, the books, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Okay, so that is the accordion album. And I know a lot of you have shopped already because we we did all this on, on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook where, you know, I got to show you guys. And then you're like me. We all go shop right away. But if you're like me, you miss some things. 
So, next we have, this one's my favorite, and I did realize I don't have the craft one, so I will be getting that next week. I just, I like to have these in my room. Oh, I like to have them, and the prices are awesome. Um, so this is a six by eight flip folio album. It gives you just kind of quick little um, uh, idea of what is in here, but you can use these however you want. Once, once it's in your house, you can do whatever you'd like. So, have this. Let's set this aside. I'm like seriously just geeking out over here. I love, I love, love, love it. Love it. And yes, I am the enabler. I know. I need a t-shirt. I can't help it. And I like sharing and I like us just to all, you know, have fun together. Um, okay. So you get a cute little flip here. This could be a little um, wallet inside. You, it can stand on its own if you wanted to put a little gift card in there and then wrap um, ribbon around that. So you could break this up. You could have this three different projects if you want to. Again, you could do whatever you want. Um, it's just really cute. Let's see, you could put it on the back. Obviously, you have options on the inside. It could go, oops, oops, dropping my daubers. It could go right here, it could go up here, and then you could put um, like, you know, what do you call it? Um, is it a coin envelope? Yeah, make it like a coin envelope and loop your string, but then it's a nice little surprise pocket in the little tuck spot down here. So you could have fun with this. This is so cool. And this is good weighted cardstock here. And this is nice and thick. And then you have this flip out, which obviously you could do if you wanted to, um, you know, a four by six. Let's just make sure, I'm pretty sure. I watched, I just had the ruler in my hand. Where did I put it? Oh, right there. Um, I just watched her do a walk down. I'm pretty sure you could put four by six, but obviously four by fours, three by fours, any size you want. Yeah, because this is five, well, right here, five to six, but you obviously could go higher and, you know, have like that. So a four by six photo for sure fits on that. Just gorgeous. You could ink these up. There's so much you could do with this. I just, I just love these. I love these. Now, I will say, you really could have some fun and make a traditional album, like with a spine, chipboard, and add these things in as your actual like flip outs. You could um, glue these to a hinge and have these as like a signature. Remember, always look beyond what you first see. There's so many opportunities with this, but I just, I love these. I love them, if you didn't know. <laughs> if it's not coming through on this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So now, this is what I absolutely loved. They have this die set. Oh my gosh, now let me see if I can figure out all the parts, but these are meant to go with this to layer this up. So I'm first gonna just, and I haven't, I haven't played with this, so I don't know all the dimensions, but let's see, yep. So that will do a nice little border there. Probably leaves like, I think maybe, no, it might be a 16th of an inch around. It's like an eighth of an inch different in sizing. You have this here. And I'm gonna give you some options with this in just a second. You have up here, does that fit that? That might be, it's a little, oh, no, that goes with that. So this one is a little bit longer, which is fine, and I'm gonna give you some options for that. So hold tight on that for just a second. You got this little fatty, what is this little fatty one for? This is a cute little fatty. I'm, I'm liking this. So I wonder, are these all the same size? Oh, nope. See? Okay, I'm learning. I'm just, you guys can't see it all, but that one actually goes up there. And I wonder if this one goes like, no, because this little flap is over. Oh, 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 are you this? 
I'm just telling you, I'm learning along with you guys. There's no right or wrong way to do these, so. Ooh, <laughs> look. <laughs> I figured it out. Okay, that's cute. At least I think I did. I don't actually know, but it works for me. Okay, then you have this one. And this die set, you guys know, like, getting this many dies is usually, like, $30. No, ma'am. Not here. They have great prices. So, oh my gosh. Look, look. It's. I mean, this is just... So, if you're getting these, you have to get the dies. If you don't get the folios, you still have to get the dies. Because I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You guys can't see, but I'm matching them up. There is a piece for every single thing. There's a piece for every single thing. So there is this little, this little lot of mine. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I, you guys know I get excited with paper. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I just did there. Okay, let me just keep, I'm just going to keep looking. I just want to see. This little one matches up with this too. So you could use this and just trim it. Does this fit? This. It does. So they, I mean, they're interchangeable, I think. I just think it's fun. A lot of fun stuff you could do with these. And there will be tutorials. I'm pretty sure um, some other designers were, are going to, you know, snag some of this stuff too. Because to me, these are staples. And here, again, is the reason why. So, say you don't have the folio or you have it, but you just want to be creative and do something else. Make a folio with these. Oh my gosh, you could totally make a folio with these. You could score, so you, you die cut this, score it half inch, glue it together to now this piece. And it would be obviously a little bit smaller in dimensions on some of the things. I mean, you could just, I'm just saying guys, you could have fun with this. Now, I have done this before. Okay, what I love actually is like this size. Okay, so you're gonna cut out a whole bunch of these. You could cut out the cardstock in this if you want or the or the pattern paper either way but for me what I do with these dies I cut out the cardstock first with this so it's going to give that nice stitch edge love it love it love it then I'll take my pattern paper and I will go old school and it's relaxing for me to do it so I don't mind at all and I just take my pencil and trace the inner side here for the pattern paper and then I have an automatic mat right there and and <laughs> what you could do is so if these are your bases you can cut out let's just say you cut out like six six of these and then you could i'm just saying just saying cut out this wrap it around score a half inch have it as your spine or you could punch two holes right here you could put rings, you know, through it and have all the fluffy um, seam bindings and trims and pretty ribbons with some of the collections I'm about to show you in a second um, and have this just as a different album. So a lot of things you could do with these. I, If you have not seen, I've done many times taking this one right here. This is a photo mat right here, insert it into a pocket or cut it out, score a half inch, and now I have a bunch of pieces for a beautiful detailed waterfall. So a lot of options. And when you look at your dies, especially like, you know, nested, stackable dies, all of that, if you want to use them for cardstock first, cut it with the cardstock, then trace your inside for your pattern paper, and you can use your die two different ways just right there. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this is, so, and wait, I have more dies to show you, and I, I, I don't I don't even know all the things I didn't get. I have more to get. But when I go to Utah, I you know I wanted to get stuff. I have another package on its way. But when I go, I'm already gonna need you know room in my suitcase, so I couldn't bring all this stuff back. So now I'll have a, a list and be able to hopefully I'll be able to do a live from the store. So stay tuned for that. But oh MG. Okay. I'm so excited. So cute. Okay. Now, let's look at some other goodies. Hold on. Okay. I did snag some of these flowers. 
And there, I want to say maybe, I don't know, I think there was like four or five other colors. I do want the turquoise teal color, so I'm going to need to grab that if it's not sold out by the time I get there next week. Um, but these are really pretty flowers. And I always say, you could have these, you still can ink up the edges if you wanted it more of a rustic, um, vintage vibe. Um, you can add a wink of Stella, you can add stickles, you can add um, snow. Uh, lots of things you can add. You could change out the centers. I've done that where I've just cut out the stamen in there and added a little jimmy. So a lot of things, and you get a lot of flowers in this package. This is the Dusty Pink flower set. So pretty, love, love, love. So we'll just set that there for a second. Oh, in this one, I, I had to have. So this is acrylic stamp set um, place photo here. And I'm still gonna, I'm just gonna let you guys know, even it's not part of the new product, the Country Craft Creations place photo stamps are back in stock. This is my favorite, but I love this. So I always started out just punching a camera on my photo because I didn't have the Country Craft Creations stamp set. So I did do a little camera. I love this. This is going in my travel bag. So this will be in my retreat bag. I won't have my big one. My big one will stay here. But these are great for gifts too. If you want a gift for table mates, um, if you're doing craft retreats or you know holiday times coming, these are great little gifts. Great little gifts, I just love this. So place photo here, you have two by three, three by four, six by four, and five by seven photos right there for you. So stinking cute. Okay, so there is that. And I will have a link to all things available um, at Country Craft Creations from Uniquely Creative. So you can take a look, cause like I said, I only got, a, I mean, just a, a smattering of things. There's a lot more. The scissors, I wanna get the scissors. Um, the precision uh, fussy cutting scissors um, are really good. Ta Tamara used them in a live that she did. Um, there's also a case that goes to that. So again, if I can get to the store and do a live, I will show you guys all those things they had. And they're pink. So if, you, if you're a pink girl, they're pink. And then there's a little paper trimmer um, that is pink and white or pink and off white. That is very cute. So there's some great tools. Okay. So, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you these first, but then we're going to come back to these in just a second. But these nesting dies here, nesting, um, slim line tag dies. Let's see the official name. Slim stitch nesting tag die. I was close. Um, had to have these love this but i'm gonna show you something else on both of these in just a second and then you have the paper tag die this one has a scallop and it is about an inch and three quarters this one i think was like an inch and a half let me just double check i had because again i had ideas in my head yeah inch and a half on that one um, and this one is a really close, um, it has a stitch. So this one is a stitch. This one is a scallop right here. This one is, let's see, it is four inches tall. This one is like three, three and three quarters. And the largest one on this one, okay, let me see here, is like seven and a half. So um, a really good size for these. And these are great for tag flip albums, etc. Okay, so look at this cutie patootie. So hold on one sec. Okay, and I'm going to measure for someone, and I forgot who asked this question, and scrapbookers. Mm, I think it might work. I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Okay, so first for these. And this is... The Cut Apart Essentials number five die set. Hold on. Let me take them out so I can show you. But a, a member of Scrapbook of Country Craft Creation asked a really good question and it was, a, I thought, a really good idea as well. And I think, well, it'll work on something, so we'll, we'll go through in just a second. 
What? Hold, please. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So this is, this one is the Willow and Grace, which has the cute little adorable cat and dog, which I got a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys a little peek in a second. Um, but I love that you could just use this one die four times and all these are cut out. How amazing is that? So I have this one and then I have Christmas wishes, which is stunning. I'm going to show you that in a minute too. And I'm stuck because I have tape on the back of that. But same thing. I just think this is awesome. Now, here is the question that was asked, which is so cool. And then you could dovetail the ends, um, you know, and just make it cute. But the question that was asked, would this die work on paper for doing a waterfall? And I just measured because I didn't know because I didn't have this. But yes, it would. This is three eighths of an inch. Again, I'm just going to double check. Yep. Three eighths of an inch. And we usually do our waterfall gusset uh, like a half inch. So this would work. Now, again, it only goes to four. It only goes to three and three quarters of an inch wide. But for our regular like wallet size folio, um, not folio, our regular waterfall, um, it would work like the three by four, which is normally most of us do either three and one eighth by four and one eighth or three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it would be like, you know, it would definitely fit. And you could just use a sheet and that way you'd have all the same pieces just knocked out in one. Now, that being said, if, if you know, Uniquely Creative wants to create one of these a little bit wider just for us lazy people in waterfalls, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would go at least six inches across. You know, just saying, just saying. You know, I just thought that was a very clever way. Again, that member, I can't remember who had asked the question, but way to look, you know, beyond the intent of this product. Okay, so we have these going. Now, okay, okay, just, nope, hold on. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't. This is a go grab your drink and just chill for a minute video because right now I'm going to show you I, again, I only got a little bit with this one, and I'm sure that's going to be changing here in a second, as soon as I get to the store. But this is... Oh, it's so... Okay, I gotta, I gotta save this for last, because they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is Willow and Grace. I can't. The colors are stunning. I mean, stunning. The, the paper is a really thick quality paper. Um, I just, I, I cutie patootie. And if you don't know, I love animals more than I love people. <laughs> I, if I, I would have been a veterinarian if I didn't actually have to do surgeries and all the gross part. If I could just cuddle the animals, I would have been a veterinarian. <laughs> But oh my gosh, just stunning, stunning. Inking these up. Tamara has so many new inks in the shop. She just got in um, um, some Catherine, Catherine Polar, uh, Polar, Polar uh, inks. I just, they're gonna be oh, just so pretty with this. Or you could just leave it clean and it's just as gorgeous. But is that not just pretty? And we're just on one sheet right now. Here is the B-side to this one. This is cute that they have little sayings on here. So I don't know if this has a name. It does have, they do have names. So this is Arlo. Then next we have Tiger. And so cute. So cute. I did not get the full collection. Just FYI. Look at, like, can you guys see the detail of the brick coming through? I love her lace doilies. Love, love, love. And then it's just like she did all the junk journaling for us, but it's pretty junk journaling. I like pretty junk journaling. And again, you have options down here for sentiments. I think that is really cool. 
And I'm not just a cat lover. I love doggies too. Again, I just, I like all animals. Except all the frogs that are staring out at me today on my, my deck. They're, yeah, in this crack of my deck, I saw this cute little green frog on top. And then I look in the crack and all these little bitty eyeballs were staring at me. There were seven little tiny brown frogs in there. It creeped me out. I still love them, but it creeped me out. But, oh my gosh, so pretty. All of like the watercolor effects, the layering, the textures. You could go fussy cut crazy if you want to. I will not, but it's there for you if you want to. <laughs> so pretty. And then again, another little sentiment down here. I love the cut apart pages. I don't want you guys to see what's underneath because it just gets cuter. So you have life is better with a dog. And yes, it's shared with the kitty cats. You have life is better with a cat. Oh my, look at that sweet little white kitty. Oh, and the fluff ball. So cute. Now, I, oh my gosh, my little Shuggy. Shuggy, Shuggy, Shuggy. This looks brown, but when Shug's in the sun, she looks brown. She's black, but she looks brown. And I just, I can't so cute i had to have it oh my gosh the details the frames ugh ugh so cute and then here is the back side it's like a um again like a watercolor with a polka dot and then you have again just little sentiments if you want to make cards or tags i just think that is so awesome great way to use all the paper okay I'm trying to see i had to, i had to do it i had to do it so this is, yes, you would have to fussy cut this. And you guys know I hate fussy cutting. But that's how much I love this paper. Look at these little babies. And I love, like they went to town trying to find different, you know, animals that still had to work with their collection. But, you know, usually you see like the same golden retriever or, you know, a corgi. Like really a cute little corgi. I mean, it's <laughs> so Cute. and then they threw in a couple ducks and a bunny rabbit and a bird I mean I just oh in that frame like you could put that like on a canvas and then just zhuzh it up like add some textures and layers and it's a beautiful just piece of home decor oh I love it love it okay then this last page, oh, and what was the B-side? I didn't even look because I don't care. Um, it's a burlap with, again, some more fun sentiments. So if you don't want to use the dogs or the cats, because you're only a lover of one, <laughs> you can opt to not and then use the B-sides for something else. But it's so cute. Oh, look at that little kitty that is like, creamy beige on top going down to gray <laughs> so cute i i kind of look like that right now with my spray tan and my real tan and my tan lines and my burn lines it's a hot mess okay i you guys know when i get excited i just start going all over the place so there's another cut apart sheet and this one is ruby the other one was indy and max was the three by four cut aparts Look how cute. Oh, sweet little babies. Now, here's where those other dies come into play. The back side still has some beautiful, like, layered textures on here with a, a, a scripty font in the background that's white with some leaves. But then you have your um, watercolor. You have your Bob Ross swish swish little things. That's what I call it. I did grow up on that, and I loved watching his show. Um, and I do think I can paint a mean tree as well. But, okay, so they have these dies that can coordinate with, with elements in their collections. So I think looking at this one, this one's a little skinnier. Hold on. It still will work, and I'm still going to use it. Or, Okay, so for this one, and I don't know if it's the same on all their collections, um, but this does work on this one. It is a little, just a smidgen smaller, but 
Now, if you had this layer and then you cut out another layer from the pattern paper, you definitely can layer this up and have a great like, um, what is that? Probably a 16th of an inch, inch border, but I'm just lazy and I like to just put this down, punch that out really quick. And then this cutie patootie, which one? I think this might, might fit. Oh, let's see. I don't know which one that's gonna fit. And again, I don't know the other collections. Um, I do know that a lot of their dies were intended to work back with. So let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's that one. This one's too small. So the little scalloped one is perfect for this one. Oh my gosh, so cute. So again, just another way to, oh my goodness, so cute. I can't wait. You guys have to tell me what you think of this collection. As always, did you order some? Are you about to order some? But what do you love? Like, I just, I can't. I just, where, I need more time. I need more time. I, I there's so much stuff I want to create and play with, and I just don't have enough time. But I got it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Is that it's in my stash. Oh, and there will be more coming as soon as I buy some more next week. Okay, now, the big kahuna. Oh my gosh, oh, so pretty. Okay, okay, so you see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going? Oh my gosh, the pink Christmas, I, I just, I can't, I can't, just so cute. Okay, so I have some of the 12 by 12. 